Um, you've been through a lot here in three years' time. It's kind of crazy. I mean, going back to your rookie year and the t unfortunate incident that happened, people trying to rob you and, and all that, and then another year, another coordinator. Like, do you think about your Washington time in totality at all, how wild it's been in a pretty short amount of time? I mean, yeah, it's been, you know, pretty unfortunate, you know, uh, but just, you know, being in the position I'm in, there's only so much I can control, you know, what I'm trying to do, the things that I, that I acquired to do. So, uh, you know, a lot of those things out of my control and I just had to handle it the best way I can. I feel like I've done that. I feel like, you know, the people around me have, you know, helped me and allowed me to just, you know, stay in the right space mentally. And um, I just feel like everything is just getting better, man. Everyone's prayers being answered and, uh, you know, it's change is happening. You have such a positive outlook and you always have, even when circumstances were pretty dire. How different does it feel now? You had the ownership change last year, but those guys didn't really get to take over everything, get their hands on everything until this off season. Yeah. New coach, new GM, new quarterback. They're building like crazy out here. How different does everything feel for you? Uh, it feels great. Like I said, um, I've always had great energy, even when things was just screwed up. You know, uh, I always try to bring you know juice, bring great energy. You know, here, you know, every single day, even when I, I probably wasn't you know my happiest. But, uh, you know, just with me continuing to, you know, have that, that energy and, you know, brightness with just coming here every single day, you know, even when things were bad, you know, it just allowed me to just, you know, accept, you know, everything else that's coming to help me. And it's just, it makes me feel good, you know, just to, you know, see all the changes that happening and just to help me. And, you know, it just allowed me to just be in my element, be happy and be here, and, you know, and get better every single day. So specific to that, let's talk about the offense a little bit. Cliff Kingsbury has this reputation for the air raid, but they ran the ball plenty in Arizona. How are you feeling about the offense? I feel like, you know, uh, he's going to do a great job just utilizing his personnel, you know, knowing who he got on the field and knowing how to, you know, best expose, you know, those guys. So uh, I feel like he'll have the, the, the balance that we need to, you know, be a great team, whether that's throwing the ball or running the ball. Um, I feel like he, he's already establishing you know, the culture within our offense, you know, just balanced, you know, and whatever he decided to do, I feel like he'll, he'll put us in the best uh, positions. What about having a dude like Anthony Lynn here? What does that mean for you? A, a uh, guy with so much running back experience. And, uh, a. Lynn, a dog, man. And, uh, I actually got to meet him beforehand, you know, before, before the draft process and stuff like that. And, you know, he was a great down to earth guy. He's real, you know, and uh, I appreciate, you know, you know, his, his coaching style, you know, he's, he, he's tough-nosed, and he just, he's all about the details. He just want to make us you know, the best we can possibly be. A, a guy A. Lynn knows from the L.A. days is Austin Eckler. How has your relationship with Eckler kind of evolved? Man, me and Eck, you know, we bonded since day one, man. He's a great dude, great energy. You know, he come to work every day. You know, uh, I feel like we complement each other well, whether it's in the mean room or on the field. You know, uh, we find out new ways to get better every single day, new ways to complement each other every day. and. Uh, I feel like we're establishing a great relationship, you know, early, you know, for what we want to, you know, do later on in the season. That's cool. You know, one thing Dan Quinn told me is like, I was always excited about Robinson coaching in Dallas. I matched up against him. I know how tough of a runner he is, but his ability to catch not just like little swing passes, but getting downfield, running wheel routes, running real routes down the field. That you've got your head coach excited about that. Has has a Lynn or Eckler or anybody kind of? try to get more out of that or is that just your own hard work every offseason? Uh, I've always I've always always trained and worked on, on my pass catching abilities whether if I got the opportunities to put it on display or not I've always trained and worked hard with catching the ball catching the ball out of the backfield catching the ball down the field and as you can see I got more opportunities to do certain things last year it may have not been more down the field routes but I got to catch a lot of short under under routes and stuff like that and show my ability in the past game and now it's just up to me to take my game to another level and show these guys that I can also run routes 10 20 30 yards down the field any route in the route tree you know I can possibly I can make it work and I can get my hands on the ball with soft hands Have, remind me the play in Atlanta where the dude was at the goal line and you didn't decide to go right or left you went right over him was that a screen uh, it was a setup screen it kind of got messed up a little bit in the mix. So I got to I got into the screen tunnel late, but once I got up in the shoot, I just kind of weaved through it 
And by the time I got close enough to the goal line, I was like, ain't no more weaving. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting in there. I mean, that was a heck of a play that I remember it nine months later or whatever. Um, a, a big part of the offensive success is, is going to be Jaden Daniels, most likely, right? What do you think of the rookie so far? Did you guys have a relationship uh, prior? Or? LSU guy, you know, yeah. that's my guy though, man. Uh, I think he's tough, man. I, I watched him. I watched him, you know, if not every week, you know, last season, you know, uh, I prayed on that pick, you know, so it's super, super excited to have him in here. Um, I love his ability. I, I love his, uh, his dual threat ability, quick on his feet, strong, strong arm, smart, he poised. I feel like he gonna do everything he wanna do in this league as long as he, you know, get up, get under the guys that's beside him and wants to help him be the best quarterback he, you know, he can be. What's he like in the locker room? You know, great guy. Energy always calm and cool. He never just get outside of himself. You know, he just kind of stay in his stay in his lane. You know, and you know that's pretty much the identity of our locker room. And you know, he fits in very well. So one of the things, and I don't want to I don't want to mess up your your street cred or anything here, but. When you're on the football field, you are a tough dude. Like that, that is that is what you exude out there. You want to run people over at the goal line. No more bobbing and weaving, right? But when you're when practice is over, you are one of the sweetest, nicest, most gentle dudes walking around. Every little kid, you're signing every little thing. You're taking every little picture. Where where does that side of B Rob come from? Man, uh, at, at, at one point, you know, I was that kid, you know, and I might have not got opportunities to come out to. NFL camps and do certain things when I was a kid. So just to see these kids, um, you know, have the opportunity to get near us and, you know, and just feel their excitement, their excitement for me personally, you know, I, I really appreciate that, you know, some of these, you know, kids and families drive hours away, you know, just to come out here and sit in the sun and watch us work, you know, and uh, I couldn't be more thankful and appreciative, you know, for the, for the fans that, you know, you know, love and appreciate, you know, my hard, my hard work and efforts to this, organization so you know anytime you know I, I, I'll find some time to you know you know get them you know, something back you know in return. You know. What does it mean for you as a guy that had to wait his turn at Bama and then gets here and has unfortunate circumstances you're a fan favorite I mean they're chanting be raw be raw like what how how much does that mean to you to have made it to this point where you are giving back? Man it means a lot to me it's some um, I probably I probably never take for granted only because like you know, my journey wasn't just a you know a roller coaster like, or just a little stroll in the park. Like, well, easy. I had a, you know, I had a a hard ride. So like, you know, I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful for you know my position. I'm I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful to have you know a fan base that you know love and appreciate me here. So you know, you know, I just soak all that up, man, because um, I'm gonna need them come game day. You know, I'm gonna need them to bring me some energy to those stands. You know, so. I use this little time to, you know, engage with them, just kind of let them know, you know, what type of guy I am, you know, what type of character I carry, you know, all the time. You know, I know on the field, like, all that go out the window because, you know, that's it's a football attitude. But, you know, as a person, you know, as a people's person, man, I love my people, I love my fans, you know, and I love the people who, who love me. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Sure. Appreciate it. Yeah.